It's your girl Justice and this is my first video so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and turn on post notifications to know when I upload. So today I'm just going to be sharing with you guys all of the curly hair products that I use in my hair. Since it is bleached um, I want to keep it nice and healthy and not dry so I'm going to be showing you guys what I do to keep that up. Um, I'm going to be starting out with my shower products. So for the first product, I'm going to be showing you guys my conditioner and I use the Maui Moisture. This first one is the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Conditioner for dry slash damaged hair. And this product is vegan, so it has nothing unhealthy in it, no sulfates, parabens, etc. And it says that all along the bottle. So yes, vegan, yes, pure coconut water, and yes, pure aloe. You guys, I just recently starting started using this and it is a great product. I can like already tell the difference within a week. Um, and then I also use this other one. It's about gone as you can see. And this is for color treated hair, fade defying, smoothening, and hydrating. Also vegan, so these are great. The next shower product that I use, well, technically it's a freaking deep conditioner hair mask so you can use it in the shower or you can use it outside of the shower whatever but it's the Maui Moisture Heal Hydrate hair mask also for dry damaged hair so it color coordinates for um, the Maui Moisture and what it does so for dry hair is the pinkish purple one um, yeah so you can use this in shower out of shower I like to leave this in the shower for about five minutes or so or sometimes I'll get in the shower Put conditioner in and then add this in as well and i'll leave it in the whole entire shower but yeah you guys this stuff works bomb it's like one of my favorites and maui moisture has become one of my favorite brands so shout out to you guys um yeah so that's basically it no i lied it is not this right here so every time after I color or tone my hair, I use this. It's coconut deep conditioner, the coconut oil, protein packed for dry, damaged, or color treated hair. Um, so it just looks like this. And you can get this anywhere like Walmart, I see it at Safeway, Sally Beauty. But yeah, there's a lot of hair masks out there. But I use this one and this one works really great and it smells really good. So yeah, I got it for about $1.75. Works great. And then the last shower product that I use is for um, blonde hair, color treated hair, and it is the John Frieda Violet Crush for Blondes Purple Shampoo right here. And it works really good. Um, make sure <laughs> that you only use this about like two times a week. I don't even know, depending on how light your hair is or how brassy your hair is. Just be really careful because honestly, I'm not going to lie, I have dyed my hair purple two times and one of the times was like a week ago and oh my gosh, I'll make another video on that. I cried so bad, you guys. I'm not even going to lie. I was in tears, but my mom helped me get it out with a couple of home things a couple of things that you can find around the house so if you guys want a video on that let me know and i'll give you a story time on that with videos and everything so yeah that is the last shower product that i'm going to be sharing with you guys and let's go on to the aftercare so like i said um i don't use shampoos just because they honestly are not good for you um I literally have heard this so many times. If you don't believe me, if you guys watch Brad Mondo, go ahead and he'll tell you that shampoo is not good for you. If you do use it, go ahead and use about, like they say on the bottle, a dime size amount in the front. Get in your scalp right here, rub it in your scalp, dime size amount in the back, rub your scalp, and do not do the ends of your hair. Just once you rinse it out, the shampoo will run to the bottom of your hair and you will be fine. But honestly, you don't need shampoo unless you get really dirty or you're swimming in mud or something I don't know but it just takes out all the natural oils in your hair and makes it dry and frizzy and honestly nobody needs that so yeah I use this dry shampoo if I am like my hair is getting really oily it's summertime you know so this is a lifesaver if my head starts getting really itchy but honestly I don't even use this a lot so yeah 
Um, another thing that I'm going to show you guys that is a must have for any hair, to be honest, if you don't want it to be frizzy. Go ahead, girl, and invest yourself in a scarf. Now, I have many scarves, hair scarves, and you can get them in many places. You can order them online. I see some at Walmart, go to Sally Beauty, any beauty store, and just ask for a scarf because that is going to protect your curls. These are two-day curls. I can sleep with this if I wrap my hair or you wrap your pillow in a scarf or if you get a silk pillowcase then it will save your hair from getting frizzy overnight and you don't have to rewash your hair and go through the process of drying you can also use those as towels or to scrunch your curls after you get out of the shower girl it's a great investment just let me tell you that so now we're going to move on to the hair products so I'm going to be starting off with my moisturizers and the first one that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is this Africa's Best Ultimate Herbal Oil right here. So you can honestly use this as a hot hair treatment. It's very, very oily. It's getting all over my fingers right now. But um, professional strength products designed for the use in the home and salon. So you can do hot hair treatments, leave-in, a scalp treatment. It has all the directions in the back, and this is also a really cheap product that you can get at Walmart. That's where I get it. I don't know about anywhere else. Probably Sally's Beauty. Honestly, you can just look this up. It's really great. I don't use it too often. This is a new bottle, but every once in a while, if you want to do a hair treatment, this is great for moisture. The next product is also a Maui Moisture product right here, and this is for dry hair as well it's a weightless oil mist and it's coconut milk um silicone free obviously it's vegan but this is great i literally use this when i get out of the shower and my hair starts to dry a little bit I put a little bit of this in before i do the creams or i use this to refresh my curls so like i said i'll wake up and i'll use my scarf so my hair's not frizzy and then i'll just use this to make them look like really fresh but yeah, this is a great product. It's really lightweight, so it's not going to make your hair oily or anything. And it smells great, and it works really well for getting, well, taking away frizz. So yeah, great investment. I also forgot to tell you guys about this shower product right here. And this is a detangling comb, okay? Girl, get you one of these because... Honestly, before I got one of these, my hair, I would try to put conditioner in it, and I get curly, nappy, like, not good. But anyways, you use this, and you're going to start at the bottom and just work your way to the top once you get that conditioner in your hair, and it's just going to make everything so much easier when you put your product in. It'll go in more smoothly. But yeah, go ahead and invest in one of these. I got this for, I think, $1.75 at Sally's, and just a great investment, like I said. Um, so... Back to the other products that do not include showers unless I forgot another one, which I probably did, but we're gonna see. The next oil product that I use is this right here, and this is Do Grow. So I had just got my hair cut, but this stuff works magic. Honestly, I don't know, like I haven't used it much just because I... No, God, please, no, no! No! Oh no. One second. My light went out. This is this is great. Oh, don't want that one. What? I don't I don't even know anymore, honestly. We're just we're gonna we're gonna leave it there, okay? Awesome. So back to what I was saying, this stuff, do grow. I haven't been using it a lot lately just because I did recently dye my hair blonde and I don't want my roots to grow out as fast. And I do like the length of my hair, but this stuff I'm not using because it does make it grow super fast. So once my roots grow out, I'll probably put some in, start using for a little while before I go back blonde on my roots. But yeah, this is honestly a great investment. I know multiple people that use it, and every review that I've seen, even on YouTube including, everybody says it works. Like, so I I would say to try it because it's pretty cheap. I don't remember exactly how much, but I know it's cheap. Go ahead and look it up. It looks like this. There's two bottles. Um, I used all of the other one that I had, but girl, if you want them inches, girl, go ahead and invest in this bottle right here. So moving on to the creams, the hair creams, these are my favorite. 
but literally this one is like almost gone but the blueberry one so this is blueberry blueberry bliss and this is whipped curl cream cream brulee as it says and my light keeps turning off i don't know why but it's going to make me very very angry okay so like i was saying once again these products they're called curls and i get these from target i don't know if you can get them anywhere else probably walmart but um i think these are like eleven dollars i'm pretty sure but it's a reparative leave-in conditioner repair restore protect and condition your overworked tresses formulated with certified organic blueberry extract and no sulfates silicones parabens artificial oils colors or fragrances so it's pretty natural i don't use a lot of it so i honestly will use another product that i'm going to show you and i will get some of this and i will scrunch it in at my ends and it makes your hair smell so great and it makes the curl stay love this so go ahead and try these out if you guys would like but they work for me so the product that i put in before the curls cream is oh my gosh i'm literally gonna freak out i have no idea why my light keeps turning off but give me a minute again hours later <sighs> okay I am back you guys I'm sorry I had to let my cord cool down because this outlet is really really bad and the cord and the charger box started getting really hot from my light so uh, if it goes out again I'm gonna uh, if it goes out again I guess we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow to finish the video but back to where I was this stuff right here can too probably heard about it maybe not but if not girl this stuff works good for curly hair especially thicker curly hair which mine's pretty light but honestly if you use a little bit of this a little bit goes a long ways for lighter curls um, depending on your hair texture you just kind of got to trial and error see what works but this stuff is pretty natural right here smells really good and it's pretty cheap it's pretty common so yeah, this stuff right here. Shea Butter Cantu natural, for natural hair, coconut curling cream. No sulfates, no silicones, parabens, or fufuawats. I don't know how to say that word. But it's pretty natural, so I definitely recommend this product right here. The next cream that I have is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Styling Lotion right here. This stuff is also pretty natural. As you can see a trend, all my products for my hair are pretty natural because everything else dries out your hair and literally kind of does the opposite of what it says it's going to do for your hair. So this stuff right here is with shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. And girl, apple cider vinegar is really good for your hair, for your face, all of the above. But yeah try this stuff out right here it's pretty good they make all different kinds of products and if you haven't tried them go ahead and try them and it lists all the things that they don't have in them like common no sulfates etc so yeah that's the other cream i use and one of the last creams that i've been using is the main choice tropical moringa sweet oil and honey endless moisture sealing cream which helps to support natural growth and retention can't see but it just looks like this now this right here is kind of a little bit higher on the price range and I haven't used a lot of it because like I said with the last products a little bit definitely goes a long ways it's a thinner cream than the Cantu for sure but it's for curly wavy and kinky hair right here and it's infused with biotin and seed oil so yeah it smells pretty good it works pretty good so far I haven't used too much of it but yeah I also recommend this trying it out I recommend trying out multiple different products because honestly you can watch all the videos you want but you honestly have to try it out on your own hair because everybody's different everybody's hair texture is different everybody's genetic makeup is different but these are just the products that I use in my hair and that I would recommend to somebody to try and use so a couple of the last products that I'm going to show you are gels so this first gel that I'm using is Aussie Miracle Curls. It's a cream pudding with coconut and Australian jojoba oil. And 
haven't been showing you guys the consistencies of these, which I should have, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, it looks like this, and I use this um, to do my edges. It doesn't stay super well. Um, I do use Eco Gel sometimes, but not too much because I've seen that it started breaking off a couple people's hair, so I haven't been using that as much. But this works pretty good. Um, you kind of have to re reapply it sometimes, but it smells good, and you can use it to do a sleek bun, a sleek ponytail, etc. And it works pretty well. The next gel that I use right here is Camila Rose, and it's called the Curl Maker Marshmallow um, and Agave Leaf Extract, a sweet defining jelly enriched with smoothing marshmallow and agave extracts. So it looks like this, and this was, I think, about $22. So if you're looking for a cheaper product, I would go with the Aussie for gel, but like I I've said with the other product, I haven't really used it as much. When I buy more expensive products, I tend to like slowly use them because I'm just like, I don't want to spend that much money again and again and again because I use a lot of hair products all the time, um, especially when I'm going places. So I've had this even since before quarantine started. So I have I didn't really go anywhere. I was just deep conditioning mostly over quarantine. But yeah, this smells pretty good. It's worked good so far to crunch and put at the end of your curls to last longer throughout the day or whatever. But yeah, I recommend trying this out. And the last and final product that I'm going to be showing you guys is the All Holy Grail right here. Girl, boy, human. This brush this brush right here is called the Denman brush and if you don't know now you know and this is why my curls look the way they do all juicy and popping and together and big and not stringy or whatever but literally right when you get out of the shower crunch up your hair a little bit with your scarf put in a little bit of your cream product and go ahead and brush this through your hair People say to get the Denman brush, but they won't show you the motion that you got to use to make the curl pop, okay? So you're going to start at the bottom. I normally flare out my roots a little bit. Start at the bottom. I start in the front. I go down, and once you reach kind of towards the end, you're going to flip the brush this way. Go ahead and go down and flip it, and then I go towards the back. I part my hair just like this down the middle. I start on this side. Go down. Ah! Go down, flip, go down, flip, and scrunch. Right when you're done, scrunch it all up. And let it air dry, keep scrunching with that scarf, sit outside, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. But I cannot stress this enough. This product is what you need to get. Over all those products, buy this first, is what I gotta say. Because I waited forever to get this brush in, literally right when I got it. I saw a complete difference in my curls every single day because my curls would always look different. They would dry different. I would get so irritated because I'm like, one day my curls were looking really good and popping and the next they don't look the same. I try to get the same look, but this will give you that look every single time. So buy it. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said before, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications and support your girl. Thank you for watching. Peace. Mana.